Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this second part of the video series, I will show you how to do UV unwrapping of this binocular 3D model in Autodesk Maya. If you haven't seen the first part, I will recommend you to watch that video, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the link of the video in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here in Maya, I will do UV unwrapping of this model. Select this part and then isolate it. Now go to UV and choose UV editor. Then again go to UV and then choose planar mapping option box. From here, choose Z axis and then click on apply. Now go to edge mode, select this edge loop Go to UV Editor, hold Shift, right-click, and then Cut. Now select this edge loop and cut. Then select the edge loops that are connecting the UVs, by holding Shift, and cut it from the UV Editor. Similarly, select these connecting edge loops by holding Shift, then go to UV Editor and cut them. Now go to UV mode, double click and select the UV shell, and now you can separate all these UV shells. Now then, go to edge mode, select this edge loop, shift select this edge loop. Go to UV editor and cut. Again, go to edge mode, select all the corner edge loops, and then cut them. Now go to UV mode, select this UV shell, then hold shift, right click, go to unfold, again unfold. And it will unwrap the UV shell. Now, double click and select each UV shell one by one, and then arrange them properly. Turn on the checker box, to see the distribution of the checker box in the model. Perfect. Now then, also do the same thing with this part. Select the corner edges and cut them. Then select the UV shell and unwrap them. And then select them one by one and arrange them properly. Now go to face mode and select all the UV shells that are properly unwrapped and move them aside. Now select rest of the faces that are not yet unwrapped, then go to UV and choose planar mapping option box. From here, choose Y axis and then select Project. Now go to UV Editor, select the single UV shells one by one and then unwrap them. Then select the rest of the UV shells one by one that are not properly cut and then move and keep them separate. Now then go to Edge Mode, select the corner edges and then cut them. And then, go to UV Editor and unfold them. Similarly, do the same thing for the rest of the parts. Now go to face mode, drag and select all these faces, then go to UV, and choose planar mapping option box. From here, choose Z-axis and apply. Go to edge mode, select one edge loop from each of these UV shells and cut them. Then select the UV shell one by one and unfold them. Now drag and select all these UV shells, then hold shift, right click, go to layout, then layout UV. And it will lay out all the UV shell properly. Turn on the checker box to see the distribution of the checker box in the model. Now do the same thing for rest of the parts of this model.
Now then, after properly doing UV unwrapping for all the parts of the model, drag and select all the mesh of the model, go to UV mode, drag and select all the UV shell from UV editor, and then lay out them. Turn on the checker box, and check the distribution of the checker box in the model. Perfect. The UV unwrapping part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the texture of the model. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.